a couple of weeks ago, our president said the pandemic is over. And I think when it comes to an acute crisis where it impacted our lives and our daily existence, I think it is over, but the pandemic is not quite over. There's labs around the country that are continuing to monitor new variants. There are new variants popping up that have more immune escape. Um, we may see these. So I think at the very least for the winter, we'll probably see some increased transmission of the current variants, BA4 and BA5. And we may see a new wave of uh, variants that have more immune escape. I think it's unlikely we'll return to the crisis days of hospitals filled with critical patients. But we may see another wave of illness that's hopefully mostly mild, but um, some people getting sick enough to be in the hospital. A few weeks ago, the FDA approved a new booster that has an added element that gives you added immunity versus the original vaccines against the Omicron subvariants BA4 and BA5. And right now, it's the only booster available. So no matter how many prior booster shots you could have, if you're eligible, you can only get the new bivalent booster. If you're unvaccinated, you start with the original series, but but in terms of boosting, it's only this new bivalent booster. Um, and it, early literature shows it does provide better protection against the Omicron subvariants. Um, so there's a real advantage to getting it. It's strongly recommended for people over age 65. For people under age 65, uh, who have comorbid conditions such as hypertension, diabetes, obesity, et cetera, and really anybody who wants maximum protection. Uh, the Pfizer vaccine is approved for over age 12. The Moderna vaccine is approved for over age 18. I think both companies are uh, requesting approval for younger age groups, so we may hear about that. If you're under 65 and healthy, you can still get COVID. You can still miss work. There's still a chance you could get long COVID. So without the booster, you're unlikely to be sick enough to be in the hospital. But without the booster, it increases your chances of catching COVID or having a significant illness from COVID. So people under 65 who don't have core conditions but just want to be protected, I'd still recommend the bivalent booster. So there's good data that vaccinated patients in general are less likely to get long COVID than unvaccinated patients. There's good data with the new bivalent booster that it provides better immunity against the Omicron subvariants than the original vaccine. So it's a bit of an extrapolation to say you're less likely to get long COVID if you're boosted, but I think it's a reasonable extrapolation. I'd also add that it's incredibly easy to get the bivalent booster now. Uh, all the big pharmacy chains have lots of appointments. It's easy to go online and make appointments. And it's very easy to, and convenient to, to make a pharmacy appointment, get the COVID bivalent booster and the annual flu shot at the same time. They're absolutely indicated to get them at the same time. There's no reason not to. So easy one-stop shopping for both the new COVID uh, booster and the flu shot.